I should be more careful with goals consciousness. Who knows if there's a backup for the backup? Goals memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah, well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. Oh, blech. the duster has dusted everything with dust. And, oh, oh no, grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. Whoa! Hope it's supposed to be like this. What a mess. Another grease spot? What a mess. More dust. Perfect. Another grease spot? Oh no. This is beyond help. <laughs> Good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. Ta-da! 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 Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Um, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. What? Where am I? Cletus? Is that you? No. Give me a second. You are Rolfie. Rufus. I recognize you. There was that big hole, and then I remember a hospital ward. There were other people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... What? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well... Yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's alright, and now everything's alright, and now everything's alright again? Exactly. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. 
Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited, the monster... Exactly! The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Heh. <laughs> hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot! We should take over the Organon cruiser. While you're distracting the crew, I'll sneak onto the bridge. Once I'm there, I'll dress up as the helmsman by making a false beard from a brush and some glue. After that, We'll just have to find a length of cable and a screwdriver and, uh... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah. And we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh-oh. That's Argus and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, tiger. I hope Goal is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. Oh. 
was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. Meow. A cow. A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Ch stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. Ow! What was that? Don't no, forget it, there's nothing there. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Whew, damn critter. What was that? Don't no, forget it, there's nothing there. Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Whew, damn critter. No, forget it, there's nothing there. I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, uh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop. Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Gold. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough! You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi final, fi final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, of, of course. <clears throat> Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Gold must be deleted. And we need the Ascension codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Yikes.
You can't be serious. People are living here, Cletus. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go. Tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of Shwekhulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you what could feed three horses. A second disguise. It. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the department of body odor. Yeah, well... Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club? Rufus All right, that's has enough. A certain je ne sais quoi. That you're huh. lacking. So this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Whoa. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch. We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go! To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? 
No, what a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gold. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. No, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge. Just just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gaul, don't. Gaul, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. <laughs>